Yat Asia the Nair, Auro Shinatani, she a Mario Platero in the share. Betani in Schler, Betani Bashish Chin, Nashi Dashinella, Nash Asia a Dashiche. Hello everyone, my name is Mario Platero. I live here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I lived here for several years now, but I hail from the uh, Utah Navajo side of the reservation. I grew up there, went to school there, elementary school and high school, and I have a fond uh, fondness for that area. First and foremost, I'd like to share my appreciation for the great response we've had regarding this food and supply drive that is upcoming here this Saturday on May 2nd from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Just to give you the address, it's at 1883 South West Temple. And we have, we'll have plenty of signs there to direct you and show you how to uh, enter and exit and we're going to practice our social distancing. But I'd like to express my appreciation to so many people who've reached out not only have they donated money, but a lot of people have donated time and effort, and many people are actually having their own neighborhood food drive, which then will be distributed uh, to our food drive and then collected. I'm excited to work with the Utah Navajo Health System because they already have established a <coughs> method where they will deliver the food out to our families. They will collect the food, uh, from what I understand, they'll clean the food, and and then have it delivered out to your home, which is nice that they already have that in place. So please be aware that the food that you do receive down in the Utah Navajo Reservation area, that it's already sanitized and clean and ready to be used. The areas that will benefit from this food drive range from Anath, Utah, to Old Jato, from Navajo Mountain to Montezuma Creek, Red Mesa, Mexican Water, and so we're looking after our brothers, brothers and sisters in those areas. Currently, we have raised over $4,000. We'd like to go much higher than that, so feel free to continue to donate. Anywhere from $5 on, there's no limit. So please, if everyone could just contribute just a little bit here and there, uh, we can make a big difference. And I know that that money will go to a good cause. I'm grateful to know that Colonia Holly, uh, Pete Sands, Sahar, those young individuals down in that area are coordinating all of these events. I'm grateful to, and humbled by our youth stepping up and helping, up, helping our people down on the reservation. I'm also grateful for all, the, all those who have contributed food already and some medical supplies. Some of you have seen on Facebook that other organizations are also participating in food drives. Please don't hesitate to donate to them as well. I know that the U of U School of Medicine and the Urban Indian Center are having their own food drive this week. I was there today talking to those coordinators and we're just excited that we can, together we can help bring more awareness and to bring more uh, donated items to that area in, in southeastern Utah. I'm very uh, humbled again by knowing that so many of you wish you could do more and I would encourage you, uh, if you can't give, then to continue to pray for our people. I did receive a message from someone that I know down there. And they reached out to me and said, Shiyaj, please uh, look after us. We need help down here. And so that's what continues to drive me. Knowing that our families, who generally are not wanting to ask for help, they're the ones who need the help the most. Uh, I had another uh, person from Phoenix, Arizona call me and say, my family needs help. Uh, they live in such a remote area that uh, I know their needs aren't being met and I know they're hungry. And so those kind of stories worry me. Those kind of stories uh, motivate me and they should motivate you to know that our people need us at this time. So as this project has gotten underway, Again, I'm amazed at how many people are willing to help and how many willing, people are willing to participate. Those of you who are concerned about um, donating to the right cause, please know that we, I've done my research. Uh, please know that I trust the individuals uh, at the UNHS to uh, utilize that, that funding properly. 
Please know that I've reached out to other community members uh, and, and received their uh, words of wisdom and their list of needs as well. Lastly, I want to say thank you to our committee members, Michelle Kalalia Oldroyd, Michelle Nez Peterson, uh, Katie Holliday. Uh, these individuals are stepping up to help us. I'd like to thank the Sunwater Singers who dedicated a song for all of us and, and with their beautiful prayer song. I'd like to thank Martha Chavez and Victoria Blackies for singing the song uh, that you'll be able to witness here shortly uh, in a nice video as a tribute to our beautiful land in which we live. I'd like to thank all those anonymous people who will step up here that I don't know about yet that are coordinating their events. I'm grateful for, the, for those people. Don't forget that on May 2nd, this coming Saturday, we are hosting our food drive and we will have several uh, people there practicing social distancing measures. We'll have uh, everyone with the mask and gloves to make sure that we're not preventing or spreading any germs as well. Lastly, I just want you to know that we are counting on you. We're counting on your kind hearts to be able to come and participate and to donate those items to our, our families down on the reservation. Please step up. I know a lot of you feel the same drive that I do. Uh, it starts with an idea and you just have to get up and do it. Uh, that's what I did last Monday, so it's been a week now since we started this project and I'm just amazed at the responses that we've received. So please, I know you're sitting there waiting, wondering how you can help. You can come help volunteer. You can donate money. You can bring the food that's needed. Bring medical supplies that you're not using. I had uh, a person today who is an amputee bring some of his medical devices, his walker, and he brought some extra medical supplies just so that he feels like he can donate. He wishes he could do more. Those are the kind of people that we need. Please step up and donate. Bring those items. Make sure they're not expired. Make sure that they're ready to be eaten uh, as, as they receive them on the reservation. Thank you. God bless everybody. We love you and appreciate your kind hearts. Thank you.